All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn the date option, pardon me, learn the date object by building a date formatter. Step 21. All right. So if we, pardon me, if our switch statement is going to have multiple cases, it is best practice to include a break statement. The break statement will tell the JavaScript interpreter to stop executing statements. Without adding a break statement at the end of each case block, the program will execute the code for all matching cases. So for example, we've got switch, some variable here, and then a case one, two, three, just like we've got uh, this uh, date option select element dot value uh, variable with this case right here. And then we've got the logic, which corresponds to this part. So after the logic, after this part right here, we're gonna have to, we're gonna put a K, pardon me, a break statement. Is that what it's called? Yeah, break statement to uh, terminate the switch statement. That way it'll just uh, quit doing this uh, callback function and it'll go on to the next thing, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we'll just say break. We'll say, how about this? Break like that. Mm, how about that? All right, let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 22 and we'll see you next time.